It's amazing. It's very funny. There's a documentary out that NAMBLA put out, and both sides feel that the documentary is great. NAMBLA thinks it's great because it shows what they're about, and the anti-NAMBLA people feel it also shows what they're about. They both are promoting the movie. Thank you. And this is coming out, this movie? Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you'll see it everywhere. What is it, Gorillo? You're talking about, you're talking about NAMBLA, right? Yeah. Um, Saturday, was um, it Sunday um, morning? Um, 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 no, is that the morning? Um, Sun Sunday yeah. morning, right, right before the gays were marching. Sunday morning. Gays. Sunday morning before the gays were marching. Um, you certainly have been close yeah. to the gays. Uh, so you're with gay everything, dude. What are you talking about? You might be gay. Yeah. You know, he just moved into the city, got his own place. I know, and every minute he's with He's gays. really growing. Oh, right, yeah, so what about it? Um, um I was, I was um, walking out of my friend's place, and yeah. it was right on, like, 6th oh. Avenue, where all the, they, they were all getting ready to march. Yeah. yeah. So I saw, when I went with, I went with John to the NAMBLA convention, I saw the guy from NAMBLA, one of the guys from the NAMBLA, like, the so three-head guys. guys, the, yeah. the guys and I was like, yo, guys. you're from NAMBLA, right? And he goes, well, hey, yeah, how'd you know? I said, oh, I was there when Sutter and John interviewed you. Well, I said, what are you doing? He goes, why don't you come march with us? I was like, no, it's okay, you're going to get your ass kicked today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they don't come watch us. I said, no, it's all right. It's all right. Keep going. Dude, how do you ever plan to get a job? Uh, what are you going to do, man? Um, he has the funniest speech I ever um, heard. Well, you didn't ask what he was going to be doing. Hey, what, are you, what, are you, what are your plans, seriously? What are you, after get you get done interning here, what are you going to do? I'd like to maybe get some, some TV production I'd and like stuff. Maybe get TV repair would be a better idea. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you just, think that's easy? Suit for anything Is better, that a right? Ziggs v. Ziggs tube that goes in the bag? Or a transistor? I think I could spell the... Uh, You're saying Gary's no better than you. Um, hey, he looks at me. Going, I could be doing that. I'm just curious what each intern is going to end up doing in life. So far, they just appear to be with me. Ganji was complaining to me yesterday that he has no money. Actually, Ganji called I me. I pay him money. I pay him money all the time. Ganji called me at home last night. We had a big, like, half hour discussion on yeah. his future. Yeah. Well, he, he wants. Really? He yeah, has no money. His father's got tons of money. He told me that there are weeks that he has to. Exists on a dollar. He's a liar. When I want to know, I know what I know what money he makes from week to week. He gets paid here, right? Well, uh, let me tell you something. Last night when Ganji and I were on the phone, yeah. we tried to decide, you know, what he could be doing. I won't give away the exact figures, but you know what? I asked him what he took home for a month. Yeah. And well, believe me, he's not a millionaire. It's decent money. Yeah, but, for but a he's a spoiled brat. When I was his age, grew up with tons of like money, you know? and he has big expenses. Also, what he said to yeah. me. No, but you, well, you don't understand. Grow up with money until I was like 18 years old. He doesn't pay Put rent. On the headphones. I know you don't pay rent. That's true. You got to pay for your car. That's the only expense you have. Which is a lot. How much, how much is that? Two hundred eighty-seven dollars a month. And how much is your? Yeah, insurance? Did you have to buy a? Is, is, but didn't your father put the down payment on the car? They gave me five thousand. They give you five thousand oh, and that wedding, and you didn't need to get a, an expensive car. It's not that expensive. It's it's a very it's modern, expensive. It's, it's, it's a very modern. Would I mean, you, you pay about car. twelve or thirteen for it? No. And how much money do you make a week? Sixteen. Sixteen for a car. You get a hundred for I five. Looked, I looked at everything. Well, listen, I was dri I was driving in the city at the time, so I needed something that was going to get me. All right, back fine. So forth. sixty. So you pay two hundred. Why do you pay two hundred a month? Two hundred eighty-seven dollars a month. Why don't you make a smaller payment? And just because um, you can only get a certain, you can only put it out if, uh, over so many years. <laughs> High finance, yeah. So that's your one expense. What's your other expense? My car insurance, which is almost yeah. three thousand dollars a year. Okay. What's your other expense? Uh, I I buy food for myself, which is about twenty five dollars. Oh yeah, I saw what you buy for yourself. Your mommy you, makes your food for you. I live, I live, your mommy makes your no, food for you. Your mommy make makes your food for you. You don't I have to buy, buy any my food. food, and I make my food. What do you? Every night you make mommy's house. Why don't you go look at my and where and I? And your mommy buys food. No, my my mommy buys food for my for my Poor family. Poor Gigi's daddy didn't give him a whole car. You know what happened when he said, "I've been working since I was fourteen, and I'm used to having money." And then I find out, yeah, he works for his father, and his father. Gave him a big allowance for it. Yeah. You know, you know I, I, dude, what did I you do for your father? I worked construction. Construction? I worked <laughs> construction. <laughs> construction. I worked construction. Uh, dude, I know you make decent. I don't say you make a, a ton of money. Uh huh. But I got to tell you something. You, 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 he makes decent money. I know what he brings home a month because we discussed what does he bring? What do you it. bring home a month? What's the big deal? What do you bring home a month? Uh, I know. He, brings over, he, uh, he takes home a thousand a month. About yeah, all right, about that. Yeah, about and then thousand. you got three hundred bucks for a car and car insurance, and then you got no, 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 three hundred bucks for my car. Okay, right. Um, two eighty-seven. All right. Yeah. Uh, one hundred and ninety a month 
for just one insurance company, let's say for insurance. Your dad doesn't pay for insurance? No way! Why the hell? You know what? I'm 24 years old. Why should my father pay for anything? Hey, I don't think your father should be I, have have putting you in his house. Ha right. I'm trying to get okay. out of the house. That still leaves you 530 a month. Yeah. 470. And God knows you don't have to buy condoms. Uh, and then he says to me he can't afford to date. That's you, why he's not going out with anybody. Oh, you mean you gotta, you got to spend tons of money on a girl? You know, let me tell you something. When I well, dated I mean, Allison, she was lucky she got a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> My father used to give me $100 a month when I was in college, and then as soon as I was out of college, he cut me off. That was the end of it. 100 a month I lived on. Well, back then, that was a lot of money. Back then? What do you think? 100 back years then? ago? Well, 100 a month is a lot of money. Bread and nickel. What year are we oh, talking about? 1976? 1976. Yeah, uh, back then. I was six years old. Douche face. Uh, at, at 1976, $100 a month was still nothing. Uh, I don't know about that. I'll tell you something, Howard. Gorilla makes Idiot. no money at all. Well, he has his own place, and he's yeah. having the time of his life. Well, he I know. pays. I mean, he, he goes to school, so he's got a dorm money. apartment. He pays $800 for a whole month. Why don't you sell your car? Yeah, you're, you're dorming in your mother's house. Yeah. Well, sure, but I'm trying to get out of my mother's house. That's yeah, but, but Nemo, you should still have money. Well, he addressed Steve, and he says he couldn't do what Gorilla does. He couldn't have, go out and have girls paying for him. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you, yeah, no kidding. Why don't you take $200 a month and put it in a money market fund? Because I don't even have two hundred dollars a month. Well, whose fault is that? You're just not. What spending, are you doing? I don't know. What you're you're I don't understand where the other five hundred and thirty dollars right. goes a month. The other five hundred thirty. Food. Twenty five dollars okay. a week. He says. All right. Food. We have the car, right? What is it, Stutter and John? Right, he's got <laughs> some money in the stock market. He's not talking about. It. Yeah, but that's not even my money. Oh, whose money is that? I mean, I could cash. It's my father's, of course. No, no, no. Your father gave you a gift. No, no, no. We jointly. Invested in the stock market for his money. They were partners and his father put up the money. Right. Oh, so in other words, your father doesn't want to pay taxes when you were young. No, no, so. this was not too long ago. This was not too long ago. So then, so then to, to take that money out and use it, it's your money. I could, but I don't want to. I figure it's, it's oh, better Oh, so you're, so you're saving money. So you have a nest egg. How much no. is in that account? Not much. Oh, not yeah. Not much. <laughs> not much. <laughs> not much. <laughs> not much. <laughs> He's got tons of money. He's sitting on a nest egg that he doesn't liar. spend. You're such a liar. You know how much you Want pay. Want me to call you your daddy for you? Give me a what? phone number. Yeah. Cool. Then he cried to me yesterday that I now... pay you way too much. In fact, no. Laura said to me the other day, I can't believe what you pay him You know what? what he does. You know what? This dad, John, Stuttering John, pays more, his assistant more than I get paid. Oh, and the I other thing he was well, then leave. I don't even need you there anymore. Maybe, maybe, leave. Maybe, maybe get a job with John. No, but what I'm saying is... What do you mean he pays him more? What are you talking about? John doesn't pay you more. And he more. doesn't have that person on full John, time. John takes his assistant more than you pay me. No way. That's what he told me. You show me what she takes home a week. I show me. You know what? Yeah. Angie's right, but that's because John's just crazy. What is it? Where does John have any I have money? no idea, but John, I know what John pays his assistant. Is he there all the time? I know what Angie makes. Is she there full time? Gangie's yeah, there three hours you know away. Under three you hours, know what John I get to your house. Hours. I get to your house at one thirty, and yeah. I leave at six. You know what John's assistant three has hours? to do? So believe. I don't watch. I. You know what I did? You know this is unbelievable. <laughs> no. He comes to I'm me not, when he was interning you're here. You're the one complaining. Excuse me. You come. No, you're the one complaining to everyone. He comes to me and he says, "I don't have any money. I don't have yes. any money." I said, "You know what? I need some help around the house. If you want, I'll give you." Uh, I even said the jacket. What? What's a good salary for someone? Let me let me pump him some money. Oh yeah, so Jackie. No, but Jackie knows. He has people who come to his house. He said, told me, and I even increased it. And I said, here, take this money for a, for a few months. It will tide you over. Do some work around my house. And then when you get something steady, you can stop at my house. It's right. fine. He, he's treating it like it's a regular job he's now. Oh, but let me tell you. He was you want to do yard work? I'll pay you more for that. Well, it's funny that you mentioned it. You know what John's assistant does? What do you want? John's assistant actually, I mean, she puts together mailing lists and does all that. Yeah. But I think that she, like, walks through the apartment, retrieves his filthy underwear, and sends it out to the laundry. So how, she only works two days a week. Yeah, I told you she coffee, wasn't so there all the time. Okay. But listen to me. Yeah. Gangy was also complaining about the work environment you create for him. Really? He no, walked into my apartment the other day, and he looked where, you know, my assistant sits here. Yeah. He just looked at her and he went, you work in here? Yeah. Oh, my God, this is beautiful. No, I complained. Where we here. were no, is no, no, not no. as nice as this. I was complaining about where she worked. I was <laughs> right, sure. That's not I how I about heard where it. she worked. Now, he can worry where he has good working conditions. I was he complaining, was complaining she, about, about his room. this metal chair that looks like, you know, right, it's like sure. spikes through it and stuff. That's Horrible. not how I heard person it. person who works in your house should have a nice chair, Rob. Yeah, he has I a said, nice chair. That's exactly what he I said. Gandhi has full use in the kitchen, right? No. No. If he wants. I got him a microwave and stuff. Right, that you did. That 
Yeah. Very nice. But, I mean, if you're hungry, can you go to the kitchen and grab a bite? No. I, would, I, I always invite him, him to get I something never, to eat. But, but he doesn't do it because it would be a pain in the ass I throw him out. What? <laughs> he's like a spoiled kid syndrome. He's got everything all, you know, until he was 18. Now he wants to complain he has no money. Well, what he, he wants is the same lifestyle his daddy's been giving yeah. him. He's got expectations through the roof. When I, My father never gave me anything. When I got out of college, I was so happy to make $100 a week. I was so thrilled. I would just get a little... T I used to... Sure. Uh, I found a rooming house that I stayed in. I was like in heaven. You're so spoiled. How could you? You have to go work for your father. He's got some right, but, okay, luxury but, up but now at this if point. If I gave you more money, then you would stay there the rest of your life. At this point, you got to have a reason saying, to leave. That's the. I'm not saying I want more money from you. What I do you a, want? I'm saying, but should I, shouldn't I start looking for the future? Of course. I told you that three years ago. <laughs> there is no future for you. I don't know what you want to do. <laughs> the future came and went. <laughs> the other thing you yeah, I mean, the, kid, the future, you're 24 already. The future was, when you were in college, you dicked around. I don't know. You didn't plan for your future. I was here. This, this I thought was going to be for, you know, What, just what, point. interning for the rest of your life? No, but at what that point, it was, I dedicated myself to here. Here's where it's bad. I'm inept. People see me, and they all think that they can get the job that I have. Yeah, but no, no, if he you dies, know, I, you can have the job. I, I never once ever thought I can get, I, I can get ja Gary's job. <laughs> Gary's with me for life. <laughs> but what right. did he think I got here first, guys. Work? Right. Yeah, if you had gotten here first, he would have been interning for life. <laughs> but what did he think this was going to work into? He got here, he decided to dedicate himself to this. Why would you dedicate yourself? I'm waiting for how to get divorced. <laughs> oh, for now, goodness sake. How dare I, you? I, I, I'll tell him to come down to... You know, <laughs> To hang out where, with, where he doesn't have to pay for anything and he can meet people. He still doesn't want to go. He still complains he doesn't have any money. And he's complaining about bring, uh, going on, t going to work on the train now. He can't afford oh. to park his car every day. Yeah, well, that's true. So I, can't afford, I can't afford to park my car. Just ask your dad for more money. Why should I ask my you dad? You know you've got that whole bank account. Oh. Just, just take why, some money out of it. Why should I ask my he father for more money? He wants to save all his dad's money and have this yeah. big nest egg and not spend it and complain he has no money. You've right. got tons of money. I live why should I ask You can pay off your whole car right now. father for money at 24 years old. Why should I ask him? You don't have to ask him. You've got a ton of money. You just don't want to spend it. I don't have a ton of money. You've got all your stocks tied up. Nah. But I got a question. Hey, who cares? You know what? I got my own problem. Howard, can I just ask him I one question? I got three kids of my own. I don't need you as my fourth child. <laughs> can I just ask him one question? Yeah. If you went home today... If my kid was as big a loser as you, I would just pay him and tell him to go have a nice life. That's all. If you went home today, right. you walked in the door and you said, Dad, this communication thing isn't working out. Let me come to work for you. Could you? Well, of course. What do you think? How much could you make? Out in the how much would you make? Start I what would you be starting salary? 50? 50? 200,000. No, 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 no. Probably 25. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you were making 25 oh. in high school. That's how much the party costs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> James, you go work for your father. No. It's What's time to wrong? give up the dream. No. Yeah. Why? Because, I don't know, you're, you're a baby. Why am I a baby? Don't you're going do around job you're for you. whining for I do a great job for you. You do a great job, me. but stop complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I don't even know what you want to do. You want to, he tells me he wants to produce television. Here's, here's, How's he going to do that? Here's, I don't know. He doesn't produce he's a thing. you do it from your basement? Here's what we're going to do. I don't know. Ganji and I are going to well, make some calls today. Well, the whole thing I can't do it from the basement. <laughs> Ganji and I are going to make some calls today. I recommend him for jobs all the time. Oh, is that right? I do. So I've recommended him to the E-Network a hundred times. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I put in a good word for him. We're going to make some calls today. We're going to call the Ricky Lake Show. We're going to call Rolanda. Right. We're going to call Dan Foreman. Uh, We're going to call everyone know. we know on TV and try to hook them Why up. Why are you spending my time them. that you're working for me I'm not. finding Ganji I'm a job? Gonna give, I'm, I'm not. Oh, you're going to spend your day call no. making calls. I'm you gonna just gonna said Gandhi we're going to make calls to Dan Foreman. You're going to call my friends and, 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 and solicit for jobs. I was trying to help an intern. I apologize. No, 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 no. You, you know, you're a wise ass. I'm not a wise ass. That's not your job. Are you an intern placement uh, society? No, but I always try to help our interns. There's nothing wrong no, with no, that. No, 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 no. That's way... Uh, get out of here. He's not a little boy. He'll pick up... He knows right. who these people are. He can pick up the phone and call him himself. He needs you, his dad, to... Uh, I was here. wondering, why was he on the phone with Gary? Gary... Well, Gary knows what to do with the... Because Gary act, can't get a job anywhere. I might he's going to help, help Yeah, he's going to help Gangie get a job. Gary, the job... The guy who gets offered jobs day and night. I might actually try and help him, Robin. Robin yeah, sure. laugh at him until he dies. Well, because he's a big boy, he can make calls himself. You don't know anyone any better than he does. That's true. I told him that. And the point is, what, do you, what do you, you're supposed to be doing work for me, not, not sit, making I phone calls for Ganji. For you. I no, you're making calls for Ganji. Howard, can I make a phone call when I leave here, or should I call you and ask Oh, you're going to go home with Ganji and make phone calls from there? I call Ganji from You're going to call my contacts and call for Ganji, and you're going to make a call. Hi, this is Gary Delabate. I need a favor. I need you to... Uh, no, not a favor. What are you going to do? Say, there's a guy here that's very qualified. Do you qualified. think he's capable, you capable of doing that? Capable of doing what, a job? Or yeah, calling of, of calling people. I'm not sure. You don't think he is? Well, I'm then not he's sure. not qualified for a job. Howard, there's a sheet up, up by the cotton machine that has like 20 jobs open in this company. And they're all sales jobs. I'm not a sales guy. No, I, otherwise, oh, you don't want to sell now? I'm not. 
No. Uh, what are you? Tell me what guy. you are. Tell me exactly what you are. I'll get you a job. What do you want? What do you, <laughs> tell me what you want to do. I'm a great guy. I can do anything. He's a great guy. Oh, you're I a great do, guy. Okay, okay, then, then you should have anything. no problem. You don't need <laughs> me. I didn't realize. That the he whole does, world recognizes He does suffer from the classic syndrome. He wants to be an executive before he starts at the bottom. Right. What do you call I've been doing? He wants your job. No, what do you call I've been doing for... See, you don't want to say me... This for, for, for no, a you want it, but you think you're going to do it here, step. but this isn't even... Tell me no, something. No, I don't want to go from here. What is the next step? IBM, but Tell me what the next step is. I Something... What is the next step, I guess, from here? I, I there is none. That. Yeah. A wake real up. job would be the next step. Wake up, there's no next step. This is it. You're caught in the twilight zone. <laughs> John knows it. Gorilla knows it. You got to know it. There's no next step in this organization. So going to be here forever. Let me tell you about radio. Right. Let me tell you about radio. I'm going to tell you again. I told you this four years ago. I'm going to tell you. How long have you been with me? Four years? Four years. All right. Here's, here it is. here's, this, here's the I step. I can't believe it. Four years? I started when I was 20. You can do two things. You can wake up and smell the roses. Uh -huh. When I got into radio, I realized one thing. Either I was going to be on the air or I was going to be a salesman. There's, right. no, there's nothing else. Unless you want to be a secretary. You want a girl's job? No. All right. No. Either you're on the radio, if you want to be in radio, either you're on the air, like Robin and me, or right. something like this, or you sell advertising time. These are the only two jobs. That's it. That's it. You got to decide one or the other. Now, with your vocal command, mm -hmm. you should be a salesman. I'm not a salesman. What, do you want to be a dish jockey? Uh, you know, do you want to be a I dish did, jockey? I did it one time. I don't know if that's what I want to do anymore. But now what do you want to be? I'm confused. I, I now I told you the two jobs. You want to be a disc jockey, you want to be a salesman. I think I want to get out of radio. Okay, so now you're out of radio. We, we solved that. Now you're no longer in radio. Now he wants to go to TV. Now you got to put an ad in the paper. This is what you put. You put a one ad. It says like this. Fat, spoiled, untalented boy. High wages required. No skills necessary. So I'll sit here. You call me. All right, and then you're going to get a job. That's all. And you'll see. People will call you for that. They'll want to pay you a lot of money for that. There's a lot of demand for that. Like Billy West is a voice guy. Right. He goes out very and does talented. voices. Very, very talented. talented. He's got a certain ability. Right. Jackie writes. I very I recognize right. Jackie as a funny guy. I said, right. Jackie, would you join the team? Absolutely. Jackie even proved him. They came in. He started writing lines. He was terrific. Right. Fred did voices. He was audition jockey. Very, talented. very, very talented, talented guy. I liked him. Gary, don't look at me that way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you go right around the horn with a little praise. I was <laughs> Gary, you're in charity. Gary, he liked you. I liked you. I don't know why I liked you. You want to know something? I had $150 at that point to spend on a producer, and you were it. Gary had big teeth and a funny face, and I felt I like Gary. Face. Gary knows how to, he knows how to organize my show. He understands how I think in terms of what I'd be interested in. And right. He understands. So there it is. There's the team. There's not a lot of, there's not a lot of explanation required. A guy like you... You really don't know what you want to do. You say you want to be in TV production. Why don't you talk to Scott Einziger? He's a producer. I do. Talk, talk, talk to John Ryber. John Ryber. Where's John Ryber? John, come in here and explain John, the game. John, come in here. You need you need career counseling. Does he really talk to these people? No, yeah, I talk to Scott all the time. And I what call, does he say? I call E all the time. Yeah, and what do you, who do you speak to? The janitor? <laughs> <laughs> you, what do you, you call? No, I call Fran's assistant all the time. Yeah, and what do you say to her? I say, hey, keep in mind. She says, you know, Fran's looking. She's thinking. She's this. She's looking and thinking. Meanwhile, she's <laughs> looking. <laughs> looking and thinking. You, know, you know what? There's, there's even a bunch of our ex interns who were on sort of the freelance production assistant circuit. Some of them just went to go work on the World Chess Tournament. I told not to them. steady work. But you talk to them? Yeah. And they, they don't even want you. I, I don't know. Maybe. John, help us I out. Know. This is John Ryber, big producer at E, top producer, executive producer. Excuse me. Excuse me. I, I mean, you know. Explain to him, how did you get into business? Well, actually, I started like he did as an intern. Okay. Then what did you television. do? television. What was the next? In television. Uh. So he, do you want to be in television, Ganji? Yeah. Oh, you do now? Yeah. You just went from That's radio to television. Step. You spent four years in radio. Now you decided my next step is I want to so go intern in television. the next step for you is another internship. Yeah, you've got to go work for free for another four years in television. That's what John is telling you. You know, actually, I know you don't want Gary to do this, but what he was offering to do was a great help. I don't, I, that's, I'm not interested in that. I am Gary's boss, and boss wants him working on the show, not sitting and doing placement service. No, I understand that, but... I don't care about that. Don't bring that up. It's a very sore spot with me. <laughs> now, what did you do? Did you have Gary make calls for you? Is that how you got in, uh, in television? No, no, I was an intern, and I got a job while I was there. Because they recognize your ability. Yeah, I guess so. And now you're a big shot. That's it. They recognize his ability. We haven't recognized anything. That you so, you know what, Howard? Another problem with... I this... recognize your ability. I try to give you some work. A big problem with this show is that, in a way, we spoil the interns. And, and the way I mean that is, everyone should be gone after six months. Somehow... 
They stay along because they're comfortable, and it's fun to hang out with you, but they're wasting valuable years that they should be doing other internships. Listen, the guy can work with for me until he's 26, 27, have a lot of fun, and then go work for your dad. No, it's not the way it's no. going to go. It's not no. what's going to happen. No, no. no. I don't want to do that. No. I'm not going to end up like that. No. No. You're going to end up like no, that. No, I'm not. Right, John? Is no. he going to end up that way? You see, Ganji, did you ever think of hiring him for anything? Well, actually, you know, we did talk to him about being a production assistant. Yeah, so we don't have an opening right now. Right. Okay, so there you go. If there was an opening, you'd, you'd, you'd give him a $3 an hour job. Good. Right. Okay. okay. There was no opening. All right, So good. where's my next step? Can you drive a crane? He's had 57 <laughs> openings. A wrecking ball? If is a big word. Remember that. I'll teach you that. Uh -huh. But Gandhi doesn't call any of the other production companies around town or the other TV stations. Well, oh, that's what I'm doing. Who did you call After yesterday? After four years. <laughs> right, well, after four years. This is a guy now who figure it out. He has no TV production experience. Now it's four years later. Yeah. Now he decides hey, he's going to be in TV. I worked on Butt Bongo. All right. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Didn't you hold my coffee cup? Yeah, I did. All right, thank you, John. Experience. Thank you. I know you're uncomfortable being on, but uh, this career show, you were very useful. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I have to take a break. We have to do news. This is absurd. I can't sit here with him all day. It took him five years to do a disc jockey demo tape. Sent it to two stations, and then he, he got the... Discouraged. Rejected, discouraged, and that's the end of it. Yeah, he thought he wanted to do radio, so he took ten minutes of speech lessons. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. You Real led, how many speech lessons did you Real take? Real motivated. Um, a couple, a couple. Two. I actually chopped out. Two. <laughs> Two. <laughs> what, what's going to happen, Mr. With, Hustle? What's going to happen with your acting <laughs> okay. career? I'd like to do that. As soon as I get money, I'm definitely going to go back to that. <laughs> I heard you don't have any money. Acting lessons are expensive. Listen, you know how expensive acting lessons are. <laughs> what do you have your dad pay for? You got all the money. I'm not going to have my dad I'm pay for not. anything anymore. Why did you spend four years in school? <laughs> it's the thing to do, I guess. I Next, I'll be taking flying lessons. <laughs> right. I want to be an astronaut. Ninety percent unemployment rate in acting, Mike. Yeah. Um, Ninety. Yeah. You're being kind. Yeah, you're Ninety-one now. <laughs> He waited. He went through four years of college, and then he decided he'd get well, out funny. and find out what he wanted to do. Like, I'm working on a movie now, right? So he'll come to me before I shoot the movie. He'll say, hey, do you have any jobs while you shoot the movie? And I'm going to say to him, Could I be the director? I'm making a professional movie. Yeah, what are you going to do? How are you going to get what? Gandhi what, 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 what am I going to do with you? You've never worked on a movie. I'm going to suddenly hire amateur hour? And what? You don't think I'm intelligent what, enough? What would you do in the movie? I What? I couldn't do... Uh, Production assistant. What, is work? Produ what does a production assistant do on a movie? Like basically, a gopher. I guess. Uh, what? Go basically, uh -huh. a gopher. Make sure, make sure things. And you don't work. even know what a production assistant is. You, not, every, not everything producer, is a gopher. You these not everything is a gopher. I'm People don't pay that. these gophers. They have an but ability. They have certain ability. They have to do they timing. They know what's going and on. What? You know, I'm a, I'm a big retard. I don't know how to do anything. You've never done it before. Why should I do it with you? What do I do here with you? Do nothing. Do nothing. At least we knew this job when we took you. Howard, give us something that he can do that he does for you. He can dub the dailies. Right. <laughs> you can dub tapes. That's what you do. Come on. You know, I have to hire an actor to play you <laughs> while you're cooking my potatoes. <laughs> you're not even going to be in the movie cooking that? my potatoes. You're going you're gonna to be cooking my potatoes <laughs> while another actor actor's plays you. <laughs> actor's going to come here right. and follow you around to learn what you do. Robin, this is crazy. We've we got to take a break. Get out. Get, go, go back. 10, 15, you're not going anywhere. We're wasting time. We're yeah, go, get out of here. Thank you. Robin has to do Thanks it. Thanks for all your help Thank and you. all support. You'll get a job. Yeah. Robin, your picture just attacked me. Ah. <laughs> All right, we gotta. We I can't gotta, believe you still had that down there. We gotta take a break, and we'll be back right after these words.